Hey folks and welcome. In the following video I'm going to show you how to create a listing page that is a blog or a galleries listing page so you can start creating them and adding your blog posts and your galleries today. So creating a listing page is really simple. Let's go ahead and hit add new. We're going to add the title as always. And if you want to see a full video, there is a full video on how to use the page builder so you can understand that further. But this video, I'm just going to specifically show you how to use the listing block and some of the options for that. So I'm going to say listing page and we're just going to scroll down to the layout section here. As always with our themes, use the layout section. And if you want to watch some more videos about uh, the pages, you can come down to this section in the how to's and watch some of the videos here. So let's first go to templates. You can choose one of the template options if you want to start with a, a listing template. So listing type A, B, C, or D. And that will actually build that page really quickly. Um, so you could easily just go quick view, view the template, for example, uh, type D, and then apply that to the page. And that would add all the blocks and that would create the listing page pretty quickly. And we just have to configure some of the settings for that. So I would suggest first starting with a, a, a template and then of course adding additional blocks to the page. The elements you need for creating a blog page or a galleries listing page would just be one of the listing blocks and there are four I believe in this theme. Let's just have a check. Listing. There are four, yeah, four different layouts uh, that you can choose from. So uh, an option here to show uh, several, um, or several uh, text items on one side that that they can select. Uh, one with a single list view, so one item after the other, one in this sort of masonry grid, and one with a grid and hover over. So this one's a grid with text below, this one's a grid with hover over, uh, and you can choose any of those four options. You also have the option for listing pagination, and there's two options for that, the listing pagination and the infinite scroll. The infinite scroll will add the option to just keep scrolling and more posts will keep loading below the page. Um, so you can choose one of those two options and that would always go just below this listing block here. In the listing blocks, you can just hit the edit icon. You can then choose what you would like to show, whether that's galleries or posts. You can select a specific category. Maybe you're setting up different pages for different categories. You can just choose to show one specific category on that page if you want or multiple. You can then choose the number of items that you want to display. And again, that will change depending on the actual block you choose. So if it's three column block, you'll use multiples of three, six, nine, 12, 15, etc. If it was four, you could use uh, then obviously four, eight, 12, and so forth. The specific tab will give you some specific options for uh, your uh, chosen listing layout. Now, not all of these may have this. But some of them will have options for choosing columns, the gaps between images. You may have options for uh, overlay colors for this specific block you do. So you can choose an overlay color, choose that. And the overlay color is uh, basically the hover color over the image. Uh, you would also have options for the elements. So again, that would be the text colors. You can also choose the option to display the category and to display the date if you want that. Most people want the date off. So just make sure that the display date is disabled in the specific tab. Some options will also have mobile a mobile tab and you can display a slightly smaller gap on mobile devices. You will also have the margin of course for top and bottom margins and a miscellaneous option to display a different background color. You can choose any of the four listing layouts, just can go through the different settings, configure them and add a pagination if you want to have one. And that would pretty much be a blog page or a gallery listing page created. It's very, very simple. You can, of course, add multiple listing blocks, display different categories in each, and use different blocks to create the page uh, and bulk it out that little bit further. So you do have a lot of options there, and it is really, really easy to create your blog page. So just use the listing block and get started today.